On July 12, 2011, at approximately 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sony made a stand. It was at this time when a well-known computer prodigy was served via email, this prodigy being the infamous George Hotz. Many modern-day developers and PS3 hackers know him by the alias GeoHot. For all those who are not familiar with whom Mr. Hotz truly is, here is a brief summary. Mr. Hotz, aka GeoHot, is well known for his feats within the iPhone community. In fact, he was a young man who discovered and created the function which unlocks iPhones and allows them to be used with different cell phone carriers. He has also been recognized for many of his accomplishments in the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair and has granted interviews on many local television channels such as Fox, CNN, NBC, etc. And as for his most recent claim to fame in the tech world, discovering the ability to install user-made programs onto the PS3. All this at the ripe age of 21. Very impressive. As for Sony, the tech giant is giving the hacking community all it's got, by not only e-filing against Mr. Hotz, but also against another well-known organization that goes by the name Fail Overflow. The two mentioned members being Hector Martin and Sven Peter. Here's what happened. Mr. Hotz had published the PS3 master key on his website along with various signing tools and tidbits of potential ways to set up and run Homebrew. Contrary to what Apple allowed, or shall we say tolerated, Mr. Hotz to do with their product. It seems like Sony has had enough and won't have any of this jailbreaking on their computer system. Now for all you who tend to be fond of reading the fine print and all the other legal stuff, I've provided links to all of the essential documents below.